Whenever she has time, she comes here to look at her wind turbine. Mayor Maria Kama Alefieri and the islanders of Tilos fought long and hard for their giant structure. Now they have it. At 80 meters high and weighing several tons, it has transformed Tilos into the first energy self-sufficient island in the entire Mediterranean. We have sent the message that even on these very small islands, very big things can happen. When the wind sometimes drops, solar energy kicks in, produced by this plant. Dozens of robust panels collect power from some 300 annual days of sunshine. Vasily Kalavrutsiotis only has to go and inspect them once a year. In that way, uh, we can uh, minimize uh, the cost uh, of uh, maintenance uh, and uh, at the same time uh, we can uh, have uh, uh, the photovoltaic panels uh, to live more uh, about at uh, 25 uh, years. Hundreds of islanders and up to 40,000 seasonal visitors who flow onto the island are supplied with renewable energy in this way. Tourism is Tilos' main source of income. Before the homespun green energy revolution, there were constant difficulties, says tavern owner Mikalis Kourakis. It used to be quite tough. The power often went out for hours at a time. It caused problems for appliances, especially our fridges, and for the food. The financial damage was quite high. Now things are a lot better. The problem back then stemmed from the diesel power plant on the island of Kos, 50 kilometers north. It generates electricity not always reliably, but with a lot of pollutants. Look at that. The plant looks terrible. And people are probably still swimming right next to it. To change that, Maria and her team set to work on the multi-million euro eco-project, financed with EU funds. The paperwork with Brussels now fills many binders, but she never thought of giving up. The island needs this project. We feel we have to do something to protect the environment. I was convinced this plant would make a difference. And I don't think I was wrong. And then it was done. For a few years now, the wind and solar plants have been running, controlled from this container and monitored by laptop. This time uh, we can see that uh, the wind turbine uh, produces uh, about uh, 600 uh, kilowatts. Um, it's also important uh, to see daily we can uh, avoid about uh, uh, three tons uh, of uh, CO2 emissions. Even the tourists have heard that Tilos literally has good energy. We love the island and, it, and it's, of course, it's positive when they make it green. I think it's fantastic because Tilos is a, a good example for, for Greece and other tourist countries. If only it weren't for these old power lines. They still have to feed the energy they produce here into the ailing state-owned power grid. That angers Maria. There are always problems here where the cable comes out of the sea. Sometimes it's moisture, sometimes dust. Once a fire even broke out here and the whole island went dark. And so the green energy campaign continues. A new power grid is needed, and here on Tilos, they are convinced they'll succeed.